Ya está, Carlos, no hay problema. Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Aquí algo, algo ronca. No, le voy a preguntar que así como había seguido. Fíjense aquí. Bastante ronca, ha estado bien entapeada, con una gran tos, como cochuchito. Bien feo, pero ya estamos tomando un montón de pastillas. Así es que esperamos que, que vaya haciendo efecto. Porque parezco que he comido son pocos. Hay que tener cuidado. Sí. Lo bueno es que por lo menos mañana no tenemos clase en el día. Así es que ya eso ya, ya ayuda a recuperar un poquito la voz. Sí, tiene toda la razón. Pero hoy tampoco hubo, ¿verdad? No, tampoco. Tampoco. Hoy estuvimos también de, con descanso. Buena vacación. Sí, pues sí. Y yo que venía de incapacidad. <risa> Estaba, estoy incapacitada 15 días antes de que empezara este curso. Good evening, nosotros, teacher. Nosotros empezamos, nosotros empezamos curso lunes, ¿verdad? Sí. Justo, justo viernes terminé incapacidad yo, en esa misma, la semana anterior. So, todo el, el tiempo que estuvimos de entre curso y curso, yo estuve incapacitada. En serio. Así es que bueno. A, a, a seguir descansando otro ratito. <ríe> Está bien, ticha. Bien pues, merecido. Pues sí, pues sí. Más con estas lluvias que de repente se vienen. Se quitan, se vienen, no, no se sabe. Pero ahorita estamos sudando como que hubiera corrido una maratón completa. Creo que... Y está bien feo el calor. Sí, porque sí, bien raro porque no me duele nada. O sea, no tengo fiebre. O sea, menos que me no tengo fiebre, no me duele la cabeza, no, nada, solamente es el, el muy malestar a nivel de garganta y nariz. Está raro. Sí, bien raro. Bueno, este, este pase en este tiempo que nos tienen de reposo, ahí se logre. Y ahí se logre pasar. Teacher, una pregunta. Dame. ¿Cuándo terminamos es, este nivel? Uh, quiero ver. Ya le digo, porque no, la verdad no me acuerdo. El 18 de julio. El 18. Uh -huh. okay. Two more weeks. Two more weeks and we finish. Vamos a ver. I'm going to call attendance. Today we finish uh, unit number two. Finally, right? This has been a very large unit, but we will finish it okay. and remember that it is very important also that you finish the, the <coughs> today right i would like to listen well later on after the attendance i'm going to listen to some of the service that you were sharing or that you tried to share it, but some others were still me. We're going to listen to you sharing your, 
your service that you did. Wait. I guess the of us are here. So let's think. And tell me present, right? Vamos a ver, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Alicia. Ana. Carlos Josué. David. Batres. <coughs> Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. Teacher. Ahí. I'm Diego. Did you say my name? Oh, yes. yes. Okay, I'm him. Okay. Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Present teacher, Edwin. Edwin. Okay, Edwin. El Mercadillo. Present teacher. Gemma. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. Jose Alfredo. José Alberto, Karen Janet, teacher. Karen Esteban, Carla Lorena, presente. Dayanara. Lema. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina, <coughs> Michelle, present teacher, Hilda, present teacher, Mauricio, no sé si alguien se unió. Teacher present, José Alfredo. Okay. A ver. José Alfredo. Vaya, Ana, no here. Carlos, Josué. Jessica. José Alfredo. Eh, José Alberto. Karen Stephanie, Rebeca, Rodrigo, Grisel, Carolina. Okay. <coughs> Muy bien. Ahí está. 
Well, remember that today uh, you will have the exam. Oh, well, you have to finish the exam, right? The midterm exam. Okay. Vamos a ver. Tengo dos oyentes. Ah, okay, Oscar. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. Well, let's begin. I'm going to cheer here. Uh, remember, uh, from last class, you were writing a survey, right? So we're going to listen to some of you. Who will be my first volunteers? Or victims. Because last class we could listen only to two of you. We couldn't listen to everybody because of the time, remember? So today we're going to listen to some other volunteers. Who will be my volunteer to chair your survey? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go see. Perdón, teacher, mi mouse está raro. Uh, okay, do you want to share the screen, Rosy? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop sharing so you can you can share. Go ahead. Okay. In my Satisfaction survey using the word in the box. Um, the first uh, received the, bueno. Teacher, para decir, la encuesta fue tomada por el servicio de una farmacia. Eh, the survey was eh, passed about the survey of a pharmacy. Okay. First received the welcome greeting. greeting. Uh, strongly agree. Second, service time was satisfactory. Strongly, I strongly agree. Third, you were informed of product promotion. And four, show with empathy when serving him. And number five, solving all your doubts. That's it, teacher. Okay. And what, what were most of the answers? All, all are strongly agree. Okay, perfect. It was perfect service. A perfect service in all the aspects, right? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Another volunteer? Or Rosy can choose a victim. Who will be next, Rosy? My victim. Ah, quiero ver. Ah, sí, ahí está. No, pero no. <laughs> Teacher, mejor un valiente, vaya, un hombre. Que, que vamos a ver quién es el valiente, que decida. Ah, un hombre valiente. Hombre, says Rosy. Yeah. Vaya, José Alfredo. <laughs> Teacher, me parece que mi equipo ya pasó la clase anterior. Era Elmer o él. Sí, Elmer con. ¿Con quién más? O sí, Elmer. pero no recordamos, ¿verdad, Teacher? David. Oh, but, ah, vaya, con David. But, but we can refresh a little bit, says Rosy. We were. We passed in last week. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
y no sé quién lo tenía, creo que David. David tenía el, el manuscrito. Yo pasando iba. <risa> Ok, va, dale pues José, te lo voy a compartir. Bye. <laughs> ok. And the first is your order was taken quickly and the answer is yes, no, and comment. The staff was friendly and helpful. And Your order arrival complete and on time. Your order arrival in a correct temper temperature for a consume. Um, in the last, the task of the food was as offered. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all. Okay, great. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Who will be the next one? Victim. Victim. A ver, José Alfredo. Who's mm. the victim? <laughs> Lisette Dayanara. Lisette Dayanara. She will be only listening today. Um, Elda? Elda Cristina. Elda Cristina. Creo que Lisette tenía lo de nosotros, si no estoy equivocada. otra persona entonces a Carla vaya Carlos Sorry, no Carlos Lorena yo estaba de oyente la vez pasada no hey. y no realicé el ejercicio Carla Lorena qué pecado todos se han salvado, teacher. Ah, pues novia. No, vaya novia. El destino. El destino me llama. Ok. Teacher, I don't remember that um, that who work, worked that Friday. But <laughs> <laughs> but in my yes. case, <laughs> one month ago, I visited the restaurant uh, Papayons <coughs> in Mola Gran Villa. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we were served late the pizza in the lunch. The server was there too late, our order very late. Our service coordinator, the um, timing of the pizza, very, very late. Wow. We strongly uh, disagree mm -hmm. with the bad service. We have the high prices compared to those or the food, uh, uh, or the food court. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we have we have um, bad time with my children. Okay, so you had a bad experience, dear. Yes. Sí. Thank you. Thank you very much. Only. Only. Do we have another volunteer? Another one? What about Diego? <coughs> Diego? Mm. 
Diego, Diego. No hear Diego. Oscar. Hello. Hola. Hello, Oscar. Share your short class. Um, so lo que estábamos ahorita repasando. Okay. Um, um, bueno, y lo estaba haciendo con respecto a un... Ok, share. A, a un, ¿cómo se llama? A un comedor de aquí, de la colonia. Ah, ajá. Ajá, entonces, eh, con my, con my brother y we were atención y puntually puntually is the mm, the boy el servidor y servidor was the bueno uh, tomando una, estamos haciendo el boy is daily uh, to to take or order quality is well, favorite um the boy is is pretty uh painty uh, amable como se dice kind kind uh, por el, el boy fue tai was kind <coughs> was tai is is to very y quiero ver lo otro que puse y la puntually en la orden is is very good it was very good okay y um, el otro que me salté, pero me lo fui hasta el final. Uno, dos, tres. ¿Cuál es? El, el servi, el servi en el. De el ser. servi en la. El servi en la pupusería is good. Atención. Atención is. Agradable. Agradable. Ok. Ok, ok, very good. Only. Only. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Nice. Ok. Ok. Gosh. I don't know if we... Ana, su nombre me aparece solo como Ana. Me aparece demasiado chica. Ana, hello. Ahí está. Ok, muy bien. Ok, well, let's begin. Let's move to the next. We are going to work in groups of five, no, in groups of three. And <clears throat> what to do here is use a dictionary. Uh, remember that you can find plenty of dictionaries online to go check the meaning of these words, right? You have the word dispenser, dirt, design, this designated, sorry, designated, sink, and thoroughly, yeah, thoroughly. So what you're going to do first, first use a dictionary to find the meaning of the words. And then when you finish, you're going to write original sentences. 
Yes, write original sentences using the words. Mm -hmm. So the purpose is that you use the vocabulary in context, right? So write original sentences using the words. I'm going to write the instructions. Bueno, vamos a ver si nos, que, si nos deja introducir texto, lo ponemos. Vamos a ver. Para que quede más decente. <ríe> ok. Teacher no está compartiendo. Ay, no les creo. Ah, pues solo lo pensé. Vamos a ver. Ah, ya sé qué pasó. Ya sé qué pasó cuando me fui a, a, a escuchar, que dejé de compartir, ¿verdad? Para que presentara Rosy, ya no volví a compartir yo. Y según yo, estaba compartiendo. Bye. Ahí está. So, you're going to use your, a dictionary. Remember, there are a lot of dictionaries online that you can use. Write original sentences using the words. And then, uh, first check the meaning, right? Check the, the words, the meaning of the words or the definitions of the words. Because I want you to look for them in English. Yes. In the space, you write the definition and not only the definition. Also, you write an original sentence. Check that the dictionary gives you, it always gives you an example, right? But you won't tell me the, the word of the dictionary. You will give me a, your original example. So you make your sentence. Don't copy the sentence from the dictionary. You make your own. Any question? No question? No question. Okay, perfect. Yes, Oscar is page 24. Bye. There we go. There we go. I'm going to stop sharing, right? Because I'm going to send you to, uh, to the rooms so you can start working. Vamos a ver how many pictures, how many people? 18. So we're going to make six groups. Okay. Page 24. Page 24, exactly. Asha. There we go. Questions? No questions? Oh, it's starting to rain right now here. What about in your house? Is it raining? No yet. No yet, teacher. It is. Is getting started. It seems, it seems that it's going to be a little strong. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, you go to the groups. Remember, check the meaning. I'm going to share. I'm going to share a dictionary. Before we go to the groups. There are dictionaries that are online, so you can use, you decide if, okay. uh, what type of dictionary you want to use. I'm going to share two. I'm going to share an Oxford dictionary, and I'm going to share also a Cambridge dictionary. Okay.
Individual or in group? Es, no. I'm going to share it with you in the in the WhatsApp group, but later on I'm going to I'm going to send you to working groups. Oh my connection. Okay, well. But check. Ah. There you go. I'm sharing with you an Oxford dictionary. Quiero ver dónde estamos. Uy, no lo sayo. Mm. Bye. I'm going to share the Oxford Dictionary and I'm also going to share another dictionary. So you use the one that you prepare, right? I personally, I personally prefer Cambridge. That's the dictionary that I use the most. But today I'm sharing you there, a Oxford dictionary and a Cambridge dictionary. So you decide which one you want to use, okay? And I'm also going to share the instructions. Uh, because in the manual it only says, a look for the meaning of the words. But I want that you not only look, but look for the meaning of the words as a group, but that you also write an original sentence for each of the words. Okay? Are you ready to go? Ready, ready? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Try to join. Adrian. Pero ahorita le dan, dan un segundo. Vamos a poner. Voy a intentar. Voy a intentar entrar. Vaya, okay. okay. Yo estoy intentando cambiar esto y darle al cabo. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, vamos a buscar el significado de dispenser, ¿verdad? Dispenser, ajá. Bueno, ahorita. Vaya, ya entré. Ajá. Vaya, pero no me da. Espérenme que no me da la, la, ¿cómo se llama? La definición. Sí, chera, una pregunta. Los dos links que mandó, uno de diccionario y el otro, o los dos son diccionarios. Both are dictionaries. So you can decide okay, which you want to use. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. Vaya, este David, en este Cambridge Dictionary me dice dispenser. A machine or container 
that you can get something from. Mm -hmm. Eso me tira. No sé si está bien. Yes, uh, in the other dictionary, the Oxford Learning, is a, a matching of containing holding money, drinks, paper towel, etc. That you can obey quickly, for example, by pulling to handle and pressing the button. Si quiere dejamos ese último. Okay. Está más como más completo. Uh -huh. Remember that ah, mira, entonces... in the context of restaurants, right? Yes. Entonces, si nos da mejor a este, porque ya menciona el tema de. Ajá, a machín o. Ajá. Dice a machín o container. Sí. Ajá, una máquina. Una máquina registradora. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, también menciona el tema de bebidas. Papel toalla. Yo creo que este no nos queda bien. Ok. O no sé qué piensa. Uh -huh. Usted va a compartir o oh, busco el diccionario el otro. Pues. Sí. <coughs> da varios ejemplos. A mí me salió el dispensador del agua. Uh -huh. Check the best definition for the. Uh, they, mm -hmm. uh -huh, the definition, la definition. La mi, la mía, la mi, uh, is tan dispense or provides a certain tick. Um, dear, certain, certain, on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yo le puse ahí la que yo tengo así. But don't invent your chair. But, but you're giving me uh, definitions from the dictionary, right, Oscar? Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí, yo la que hay un diccionario. And check also that they go in the context that we're talking, right? That is about restaurants. Mm -hmm. Always is about the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Para que Drix Dears de su suciedad. De suciedad. Yeah. Okay. Surface. Oh. 
Teacher, tell me. Pero no tiene COVID. Pues no, es gripe normal. La cosa es que el sábado me cayeron una gotita de agua. Y yo Ajá. sí, el agua, sí, pringuita de agua es horrible. A mí me, me hacen estragos. <ríe> y chiquita, tanto que me mojaba. Ajá. Bueno, qué bueno, qué bueno que no es COVID, no que esté enferma. <ríe> sí, porque eso está más difícil. Sí, porque no fuera COVID, quizás ya se hubiera complicado más porque me he estado sintiendo así como un poquito malestar desde como el jueves. Ajá. Lo que pasa es que ahora ya no, como ya no da tan, tan fuerte. No, como sí, no. Como una gripe bien fuerte. But there are people who get really, really bad, still. Still really bad. But I, I think it's uh, a couple of days I will be like new again. But the medicine make you feel like sleepy, <laughs> kind of doomy. But well, it's necessary. Yes, uh, example. Aha, uh, uh -huh. remember uh, that you have to write examples, right? Mm -hmm. Always is about res restaurants of food. Yeah. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, because that's the context, right? les parece qué piensan what do you think down below the surface or the bottom of a liquid or soft substance. Vaya. ¿De qué? 
go down below the surface. For no, down. go down. Go, 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 go. Go down. Go down. Uh -huh. Down. Uh -huh. Below uh -huh. the surface. Uh -huh. Or the bottom. No. Uh -huh. Bottom. Oh. I see. Yes, of mm -hmm. a liquid. Sí. Or soft. Uh -huh. Substance. Así. Pero, pero me tampoco estoy segura de esa definición. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. dice que el Titanic was passenger ship. Espérame, ya le digo otra. Teacher, we have a question. Yeah. Designated you can use it like an adjective and you can use it like a verb or yes because but when because we read that we read that when you use it like a subject is when the action does didn't not doesn't begin to jet but i don't know if you can explain us better please Designated. You can use it. Vamos a ver. What does the dictionary tell you? Cambridge said said us. I'm gonna. If you want, you can see. Designated. But don't share the dictionary because we cannot share it. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, this okay. Yeah. Pues no. <laughs> yeah. Designated as a verb. Oh, se le escucha entrecortada. Do a particular job, yeah? To choose someone officially to do a particular job. So that's a verb. To say officially mm -hmm. that a place or thing has a particular character or purpose. It's also a verb. As a noun, used after the title of a particular official job to refer to someone chosen to do that job, but who has not yet started doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you say, for example, the waiter designated for this table is Pedrito. That would be as an adjective. Oh, okay. But if you use it as a, as a verb, you can say, well, Rosy has been designated uh, for, the, for chairing the new conference. Has been, that has been designated, okay. Or oh, was designated. As a problem so you can say rosy ah okay designated for chairing the new conference ah, okay 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 thank you you see now the passive voice okay now the last one throw totally totally Está bien esa definición. Yeah, totally. Totally. Okay. okay. What is totally? Totally. Totally. Completely, very much. Completely, very much. Ponemos eso. Completely. Así. Como menos. Uh. Como... Así está bien escrito. No. Completely. Completely. P O M P L E T E L Y. Así, completely. No. Así. Ajá. L Y. Así. 
No. Ok. Ya, ya una letra me faltaba. Así. No. Com Así, completely. Sí. Ah. El guay. Ay, no, ahorita. Una de la letra de ese yo creo que soy yo. Completely. Complete. Ah, ok. Com Complete. Va en español completely. Ajá. <ríe> completely, así vea. Ajá. Completely. Pretty much. Uh -huh. Ok, example. True, true. Completely, very much. Sería. Um... Porque abajo dice muchísimo. Entonces es como hacer redundancia, quizás, ¿verdad? Le digo uno. Teacher, ¿No? help. <laughs> truly, completely, very First much. Dice, truly, very much. Very uh -huh. much. Después, completely, very much. Y abajo dice en español, muchísimo. Entonces, podría si ser. Si pusiéramos, por ejemplo, you have to wash your face. You have, uh, you have to wash your face. You have to truly. Wash your face. Cuidadosamente la cara. O minuciosamente. Totally wash your face for avoid eh, infection. Sería. Podría ser. You can add it. Ve. Uh -huh. Ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Digo yo. No ha hecho nada. You don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. Okay. For not watching you. For not watching you. Oh, yes. For a, how do you say arrugas? <laughs> <laughs> how do you say arrugas, teacher? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. No, grinkles. Grinkles. Uy, ¿cómo se escribe? Grinkles. Vamos a ver. ¿Y para qué le interesan las arrugas? <risa> ok, no, a Grinkles, ya, ya, ya la leí. <risa> sí, hay que evitarlas. <risa> Hoy con las mascarillas se lucieron las patitas de gallina. Horrible. <risa> Perdón, que le estoy copiando el cuaderno. Ay, no sé si van, ajá, no sé si lo van a, a tomar captura o algo. Ahí no está. Es vale. Ya lo puse ahí más grandecito, Rosy. Gracias. Lo... Vale. Y lo puede como hacer un poquito a la derecha. Ah, ahorita, espérame, ya le digo. Um, en el espaciador de abajo donde uno sube o va ahí, ahí, Uy, ahí. mucho espérame que ya no sé cómo reducirle aquí está uy no se murió espérame, espérame. voy a dejar de compartir espérame espérame espérame, espérame. ah que se Yo me lo tengo en el cuaderno anotado casi todo se me tra... no no se me no se me no se lo borró no pero es que muy grande se me... Ahí está. Bye. Ya voy. Bye. Ahí está. Okay. Ahí está bien. Así déjelo. Bye. Uh -huh. Ahí está. No <risa> sé. Slowly, así se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Slowly. Slowly. Truly. Así, teacher. Truly. Totally. 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 Ya vi cómo se mueve. Toroli. 
se morí. Uh -huh. We sing in the lake. Mm -hmm. Fíjense que. Mm, yeah, the definition is correct. But is that the context of the restaurant? <coughs> the context of the restaurant. <laughs> Entonces los ejemplos están mal. <laughs> the number four. No, no. Remember, remember that we're talking about the context of a restaurant. <coughs> oh. um, I'm I'm talking because of the definition. Oh. To go down below the surface or towards the bottom of a liquid or of substance, like water, right? Mm -hmm. no. But how can you use that definition in the context of a, of a restaurant? Uh, the chef sink the chicken in the soap. Then this, the chicken sinks in the soup. Mm -hmm. Porque si no me está pensando en español. Ah, okay. Ah, el chef hunde el pollo, but in Spanish, in English, you say the chicken sinks. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Chicken, chicken, el chicken. Si no, el que se va a hundir es el chef. <laughs> Chicken sinks. Sinks. In the soup. Mm -hmm. Soup. Mm -hmm. In. In the soup. Okay. Entonces, teacher, la de los ejemplos de la tres también está malo. To choose some officially to do a particular job. That's okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Vaya, en la number two, en el substance that makes things not clean, that's okay. But the, 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 the sentence, the floor is very uh, dirty. In that case, you need the adjective, not the noun. It's very dirty because of the rain. Yeah? Yeah, because. And you have to use dirty, not dirt. Of the rain. Because of. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Because of. Y el very estaría bien. It's very dirty. She's very dirty. Sí, porque no puede decir very dirt. Okay. And no que usted diga there is a lot of dirt on the floor. Because. Hello. Of the there is a lot of dirt on the floor, but the floor is very dead. Okay. Okay. okay the last one. Dice, 
Very much completely. Eso significa. Very much. Claro, claro. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Did you finish? Okay. Yeah, we finished. Yeah, we finished. Okay. With the sentences too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Well, let's go then. Uh, the other groups are still missing one of the words, but they will have one minute to finish. Let's go. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the others to come and then we will go to the attendance. Almost, almost. Okay, I guess we are all here. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Adriana Marcela. Eh, the attendance teacher? Yes. Okay, present. <laughs> You say the no, la teacher no quiere pasar. No, the attendance first. Analicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué. David. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Eh, el Dante. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Gemma. Present teacher. Jessica. Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. No está Karen Stephanie. Eh, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Dice Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca. <coughs> Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Present teacher. Agresil, Carolina, Tres Michel, Rosa Hilda, Present teacher, Luis Mauricio, Ok, Carlos Fernando, 
Bueno. Let's see. Ajá. Vaya, let's listen to you, right? Who will be my first volunteer sharing? A ver, we have... Mi teacher. Uh, we have... Vamos a ver, Rodrigo. <coughs> Vaya, Rodrigo. You can share. This oh. You can share. You also... Uh, I, will, I will send to the... Everyone. Okay, you can share the screen, Rodri. No. You can see. Yes. Uh, okay, dispenser. Is the dispenser the chair? Uh, take dispenser for the food. Uh, dairy, the floor, floor was dirty. The floor was dirty, the, dirt, right? Uh -huh. Dirt. Uh, my boss designed design for the owner to have better opportunities for the, com the company. Uh, I, I washed the sink. The uh, another one, I clean thoroughly the car. Okay. I clean the car thoroughly. Thoroughly, the car. Change the order. Uh -huh. I clean uh -huh. the car thoroughly. Uh, uh, thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Um, another volunteer. Yes, David? Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Okay, dispenser. And say the a machine. Or, or container holding money, drinks, paper towels, uh, except for example, uh, by pulling a header or present button. And dirt, any substance that makes something dirty, for example, those soil or mood. Mm -hmm. uh, three and uh, designer to stay officially that somebody something has a particular character or name um, and sync is uh, to go down below the surface or towards the bottom of liquid or sub substance and thoroughly 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 yes uh, very much or completely that stop at the small things okay great thank you david now uh, room number two i want to listen to your sentences Who will be the volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Mariana, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dispenser. Machine that helps to count. Example, the dispenser it was a good idea to help us with the inventory for the end of the month. Dirt, something that is not clean. Example, the room was dirty for the event. event. Uh, designated mm -hmm. the person who is assigned for a particular activity. Example, Rosie was designed for the presentation. 
Because it was designated for the presentation, yes. Okay. Sink go down below the surface or the bottom of a liquid or soft, or soft substance. Example, the dishes are washed in the sink. Mm -hmm. You know that the definition and the sentence are not using the same context, right? In sink. I think in the definition you're using me, uh, you're using the definition like the Titanic sank in the Atlantic Ocean. Because that's go below, go down below the surface of the bottom of a liquid. But in the sentence, you are using the definition that will be like, um, um, I will invent the definition, eh? like, Eh, uy, esperen, es que mi cabeza está más topada que me andan a hacer hoy. Eh, igual, I'm going to write it better so I don't invent. Mm -hmm. So, if you go to the other definition, so you're using, eh, you're giving me the definition of verb. That was the first definition you found. And then, you have another definition that is to cause something to fall or move lower level. Some of you gave that one. But if you want to use, there is another definition to dig a hole in the ground, but it still we don't want to use that one. No nos da algo. A bowl that is attached to the wall in a kitchen or bathroom in which you wash dishes or your hands. That's the that's the other definition of sink. Um, and to that one is the one that you really, uh, that you are thinking about in the sentence that you're giving me, right? A bowl that is attached to the wall in a kitchen or bathroom or which you can wash dishes on your hands. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. That's a bowl that is used in the kitchen or bathroom and that is attached to the wall. Mm -hmm. Usually attached to the wall. Very good. Thank you. Okay, what about thoroughly? Thoroughly. Completely very much. Example, you have to thoroughly wash your face for avoid infection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Completely very much. So you have to wash your face very well. <laughs> In other words, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your room number? What room? Let's see. I don't remember. Teaching. Four. You were room number four. Okay, let's listen to room number five. Ay, nos faltó el three. Diego y Nubia, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, Nubia represento. <laughs> <laughs> Nubia will cheer. Um, Diego has the presentation teacher. Okay, Diego. Uh, what word? Uh, give me the sentences, Diego. About what a word, teacher? All of them. All your uh, yeah. Third. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, Novia's computer was covered with dirt. Okay, good. Yes. A ver, what do you have as a sink? A sink. Sink, I uh, have a pass. Uh, the wheels of the car sank 
into the mood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Past. Okay. Read the last one. They totally. Totally. Uh, uh, totally. They recognize. Recognize that the country recognize. should be totally clean. Clean. Should be thoroughly cleaned. Uh -huh. yeah. Exactly. Hey, okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. And the last one, Elmer and King and Jose Alfred. No, that was Rodrigo, verdad? Yes. Sí. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, exactly. King me falto aquí. Eh, Carla. Oscar, Edwin, and Carla, did you cheer? No. Okay. Claro. Que no, no, que no, no vea, pero lo vi. <laughs> ¿Eh? Dispenser, a machine or container that you oh. can get something from. Example, the dispenser of the drink has an ice machine. The dispenser of the drink only has Coca-Cola. The dispenser of the alcohol is empty. Okay. Still, that soil or any substance that makes a surface not clean. Example, <coughs> the has to clean the drink in the table. Designated to choose someone officially to do a particular job. We example, we have to work in the restaurant in the schedule designer from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. The schedule is designated. Sing, a bowl that is attached to the wall in the kitchen or bathroom in the in which Wash dish or your hand. Example: The server take the dishes to leave in the sink to wash them thoroughly, in a detail and carefully way. Example: The chef the chef has to mix all ingredients truly in a bowl for a delicious salad. Meat mousse be cook it truly, truly, <laughs> thoroughly, thoroughly. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> and you know that, uh, let's see this word, designated, it's a verb and it's an adjective. Yeah, this can be a verb and can also be an adjective. I made a parenthesis. This is a noun. Dispenser is a noun too. Sink can be a noun and can also be a verb, depending on the context, right? Is what about a... totally? What is totally? Hmm? Completely. Thank you very much. What, what part of a speech is it? <clears throat> is it a verb, a noun, an adjective, an adverb? What is it? An adjective. Mm -hmm. Another um, because it completely si sí, es un adverb eh, totally eh, means very much or carefully right in a detailed and careful way so that's totally also totally eh, means very greatly or very much or completely in a way that includes many details. So, 
thoroughly in y se fijaron en las oraciones que ustedes estaban escribiendo o que escribieron utilizaron thoroughly para describir la forma en que algo fue hecho right? and that is the purpose of an adverb to describe how something is done or how something was done the way That's why it says in a complete way, because uh, an adverb describes the way something is done. Okay. Any questions so far? Questions? No questions. No in questions. these cases, we have to, to look the context to apply the word or understand the meaning. Mm. <clears throat> you have to check what is the best meaning of the context you're talking about. For example, eh, that's why I was telling you a lot. Remember the context? Remember we are talking about the context of the Right? Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Diga, teacher. Voy a raspar cosas con el micrófono abierto. Ahí está. Ya lo dejé calladito. Va, chequen. Thoroughly is an adverb, right? And in all the cases that you saw there, the meaning is an adverb. And the meaning was not, well, even you got different definitions. They were all very close, right? All the definitions like very much, completely, in a complete way. So all the meanings were around the same thing. But if you go to the context of, eh, vamos a ver otro. For example, designated. Oh, bye. Sink. Sink, you have sink as a verb. That gives you one meaning that is to cause something or someone to go down below the surface, that's the verb, right? But if you use it with the context of a noun, that is something totally different because that's something that you can use in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's why I say it depends. It depends on what context you want to use something. And that's why, that's why I was giving or making emphasis. When you were taking from the dictionary the definition of a verb and using the word as a noun, or taking the definition of, an, of a verb and using the word as an adjective. So that's why it is very important that you see what is the context you're using So that's the definition you give, and of course, the example sentence you give to. Any question here? No question? No, teacher, thank you. Okay. Vamos a ver. Let's, let's check again. Sorry que tengo a cámara cerrada hoy, en pero. En serio? You will see a, a zombie teacher. Vamos a ver. Hay que no, mejor para que no se, no se asusten con the zombie teacher. Vaya, there we go. Let's go to the next. That's what I was telling you. See, dispenser as a noun. Existe dispenser as a verb? Mm? Did you find dispenser as a verb? Yes or no? Vamos a ver. No. No, 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 no. Oh, look, a dispenser can be a person too. A person whose job is to prepare medicines and give or sell them to people. 
also, well, it is always a noun, right? But we're not just talking about the container, or the machine or container uh, from you can get something, but also the person whose job is to prepare medicines and give or sell them to people. That's a dispenser. I have another one. The person who excuse. A person who? Is ah, who, excuse. who excuses. From that dictionary, from the Oxford Dictionary. Um, no, the translate, Google Translator. Ah, no le crea. Porque ahí le está diciendo como que usted me dispensa, pero en, en, en English no, no existe. Uh -huh. Al Google Translator no le crean. Yo por eso le doy diccionario porque el Google Translator. Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando alguien dice dispénseme, pero usted sabe que dispénseme no es perdóneme o discúlpeme, ¿verdad? En un contexto gramatical, dispens, dispensar es como proveer algo, no es disculpar. Y, y el diccionario, o sea, el translator se lo está dando así, en, como en ese contexto de dispénseme, pero porque perdóneme, ¿verdad? Pero eso, eh, sí hay gente que así lo ocupa, ¿verdad? But according to the dictionary, you have dispenser, a machine or container, that you can get something from, a machine from which you can get an item, usually by putting co coins, for example, when you want to get a Coca-Cola or a, a, a can of juice or a churrito, you can, use a, you can get them from a dispenser. A machine or container that you can get something from by pulling a handle or pressing a button. That would be like the case of the dispensers with a uh, stuffed animals that you can see, right? And you put a coin and you try to get something from it. Mm -hmm. A person whose job is to prepare medicines, that would be a dispenser. A person or thing that provides something. That would be another definition. Vamos a ver qué dice. Ah, perdí el otro dictionary. El Oxford. Because there it is always uh, good to know the two definitions, right? Dispenser as noun. Machine or container holding money, drinks, paper, towels, etc., that you can obtain quickly, or example, for example, by pulling handle or pressing buttons. A person who provides something for people, a person who pro uh, prepares medicine in a dispensary. Uh huh. No, that's it. Those are the three definitions or dispenser. Passion. Okay. When? No more questions here so far? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Let's go. Check here. Are procedure posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? Remember all this unit, we have been talking about procedures, right? Are procedure posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? Look at the checklist below. Design, aquí no es designated, verdad? Sino que design to, to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? Why? Washes, 
hands using soap from soap dispenser, uses brush to remove dirt from on their fingernails, uses soap between fingers and on hands thoroughly, washes hands in sinks from production area, dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. All chefs and servers will follow proper hand washing procedures. This is um, a, a chef, right? It, the procedures of hand washing for a doctor or for a surgeon will probably be different, right? Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure? You're talking about if these steps are proper. Mm -hmm. Do you yes. think the checklist, this checklist, right? Is uh -huh. Checklist. To evaluate the procedure? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, very detailed the way that they have to wash their hands. Uh huh. Exactly. Are they in order? It is in order too. Uh -huh. When you read it, you you found an order to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sí. Yeah, they are in order. Exactly. So what about posters in your workplace? Do you have posters like that in your workplace? Since pandemia, yes, teacher. We have in every sink, we have a one poster to show the proper way to wash our hands. For 20 seconds, they say, right? Yes, uh, you have to make a spuma, how to say uh -huh. spuma? spuma. Mm, good question. Ya le digo. Foam. Yeah, foam. <laughs> sí, foam. So you have to make foam when washing your hands. Mm -hmm. They have to do it for 20 seconds. They have to make foam in uh, or count or oh, sing the song uh, happy birthday to you all the whole song while you're washing uh -huh. do you think people really does it no <laughs> only to make foam uh-huh we are usually in a hurry right so we don't have 20 seconds to wash your hand unfortunately we should. How long do you think does it take you to sing the happy birthday song? Does it really last 20 seconds? It depends on the velocity that you sing. Oh, yeah, yeah, how fast you sing, right? Definitely. <laughs> yes, that's true. Bye. Okay, so now that you saw this checklist, Remember, we're here we're talking about a restaurant, right? In a restaurant, the chef has to wash his hands. And also the servers or the waiters, right? Should wash your hands. But what about the other things that you have to do? Check. In purse, use the evaluation checklist above as a model to create one of your own to evaluate a process you follow at your workplace. What process do you have to follow at your workplace? What 
what process? So I'm going to I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go. I'm going to stop sharing. Remember, you're going to use the evaluation checklist. So the one we saw before, right? This one. It, to check, right? Or as a model to create your own checklist to evaluate a process you follow at your workplace. What process do you follow at your workplace that you can make a checklist this way to evaluate if everybody does it? For example, here, we can say, hmm, Pedrito washes hands using soap from soap dispenser. Uh-huh. He uses a brush to remove dirt from his, from under fingernails. He uses soap between fingers and on hand thoroughly. He washes hands and in things from production area. He dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. So that is, if you notice, they are all interpersonal, right? Because this is a checklist that you're going to use or that you're using to evaluate, to evaluate each of the people from the team about the different procedures. Okay? I don't know if you have any questions there. Questions? No. Okay, perfect. I'm going to send you, vamos a ver, let you go. I'm going to send you, this is, this says in pairs. Okay. I guess there will be one group of three. Uy, hemos perdido a cuatro. Vamos a ver. Okay. Va. Vamos a ver everybody here. Lizette. Diana. Ah, no está. Espérame que yo estoy sin lente. Y sin lente, pues como que. No, Miki. Okay, patch. Uh -huh. Aquí está, Alexa Diana. Vaya, I'm going to send you eh, Lizeth Dayanara. Hello. No sé si ya. Hello, teacher. Ya Sorry, está. I keep working. Ah, yo, ah, ok, eso le iba a preguntar yo. Vaya, Thank por... you. Y así la mando a un trío y mala Oscar lo muere. Vaya, ok. Vaya, pues los mando. Remember, what you're going to do is make a checklist to evaluate your work. Ok. There you go. Uh, no, en el que estoy ahora, no. No. <ríe> Solo las, las responsabilidades son por así hablado. Ok. Vaya. Eh, In <ríe> if, if there is, if there is no, no, nothing, you invent a checklist to evaluate a procedure. Ok. You know the procedures, well, you know the things that you have to do in your workplace. You know the procedures. Now, uh, design a checklist to evaluate that procedure. Okay. In, my, in my work, we have a, a checklist for 
inlet the machine. It's correct. Uh, inlet. Uh, to fill. Fill. Okay. Fill the machine. En el, en el bio, Ewing. Uh -huh. En este trabajo no se hace eso, procedimiento. En el, en el Word anterior, anteriores atrás, si sí, procede. Si sí, procede los. Se practicaba todos estos procedimientos. ¿Y se acuerda de alguno? Sí, es que era un restaurante. Ahí en el restaurante sí hacíamos todo esto. Entonces, ¿se recuerda de alguno? Lo, lo podemos. Sí, porque ahí teníamos que. Bueno, quiero ver si lo lavamos las manos con jabón antes de preparar los alimentos. Lavamos los alimentos. In English. <ríe> y se lavan las manos. Wash hand. Wash your hand. Wash hand in aliment in for su in the Pencer um, Wash your hands to touch the food. Where do you work, Oscar? Actualmente un laboratory. Laboratory. Laboratory uh, is a uh, is um ¿Cómo se llama? Una bodega is a memory memory to every product. Why are you talking about preparing food then? Me tengo que aprender todos los productos que hay en, la, en el laboratorio para poder yeah, después but, salir. But you don't prepare food. Um, do you prepare oh. food? Food. ¿Qué food? Food. Food. Para preparar los alimentos. Uh -huh. Ah, en, en el anterior, sí. Ah, no, but Wash. talk about now. Talk about now. Don't mix. Don't mix. Just talk about one of the places. O aquel o este, pero no mezcle los dos. Ah, porque es que en el, en el, en, en este no se hacen nada de esos procedimientos. No, pues sí. Pero lo que ustedes van a hacer es un checklist. Para, siempre hay un procedimiento donde, donde sea. No importa donde trabaje, siempre se sigue un proceso para la elaboración de cualquier tipo de cosa que usted haga. Ok. Ah, pues, only... Proceso. Only use so vector, vector finger y um, hand drone. Uso, uso debido a un uso de, de uniforme uh -huh. o de casco y chaleco. Vamos a ver qué más. Uh, uso de mascarilla. Hoy es obligación. Uh, uniform. Casco, no sé cómo, cómo se dice. Ahorita lo buscamos, no se preocupe. Ok. 
Saca la seguridad del campo. Vamos a ver. Seguridad. Vamos a ver. Es un uniforme. Uso de casco. Uso de chaleco. Reflectivo. Pero no sé si me va a entender. Correct. Use. Use of the marker. Marker. Um, entry en el stick. Eso es como el carnet. No, ese es el uso correcto del marcador de entrada y salida. Ah. Ok. Vaya. Me, me avisa para ti. Sería correct y. Teacher, how do you say cafeti? Cafeti. That's your ID. That's your ID. The identification card. Ah, ok. Sí, estaba bien. Identification card. Mm -hmm. ID card. No, ID. ID, solo así. Solo así. Yes, Pero we, we're, we're talking about the thing that you wear in the neck, like a necklace, just. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, su carnet. Yeah, yeah. No, teacher, es este colgado al cuello. Okay. Use the ID. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Number. Use the mask. The mask. Uh -huh. Now it's mandatory, right? Or you want to say it like a badge. Los doctores ocupan un badge. B A D G E. Badge. I asked to Rosie and she told me that they don't have to use that one. Es que ya este, la blusa del uniforme parece gabacho. Mm. Uh -huh. It looks like like nurse in in pediatric nurse. No. 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 Where the complete uniform just the, the white gabacha, the white one. <laughs> Ah, en el lab, ¿verdad? Ah, pues sería como un batch aquí, el ID. Uh -huh, tipo batch. Because the doctors use a batch. Pero, can we leave, leave it in this? Use the ID only. Yeah, it's okay. Number three, no, teacher. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Sí, it's okay. Put a mask. It is mandatory everywhere. Yes. Um, Podemos mezclar la vestimenta con comportamientos, actitudes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Right. In this case, uh, este es donde un restaurante. Sería como eh, office job, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. bueno. eh, siguiente uh, a ver oferta de uh, um, quiero ver qué más sería preguntar si todo está bien no sé si podríamos poner oferta de En, en la misma, en las... Um, sí, sí, en la misma. Oh. En las... Es que... It's okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it... Designated for, from the project. Uh huh. The rest, no sé cómo es el resident. 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 Uh -huh. Resident engineer. Resi the, the resident engineer is designated for, for the project. Uh -huh. Be designated. Uh, look, that happen is we have to to follow a sequence. Sequence is teacher. A sequence? sequence. A sequence. A sequence. The order, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The order that you do the activities. Mm. In what order do you do them? I I made a synthesis for the word sync. Uh -huh. For example, in my work, in the, in, in, for. No sé cuál sería el correcto. The empty dishes, that's okay. Teacher. No, remove teacher. Yes, remove the empty dishes. ¿Y cuándo usaría removing? Cuando lo está haciendo, en el momento. Ah, en el momento presente. Sí. But you can also say pick up here. Si yo pensaba pick up es como recoger. Bueno, retirar. No, recoger. No necesariamente tienen que estar tirados, pero vaya, están puestos en la mesa y ya están sucios, hay que recogerlos. Right. En el área de niños, teacher. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, bueno, they can be also on the floor. <laughs> Los never... cumpleaños. Sí. <laughs> sí. With the little children, whatever is possible. Mm. Well, I'm calling you now, eh? Let's go. Coming, coming. A ver. Ah, ah, volunteers. Who will be my volunteer to chair? One volunteer. Manita, manita. Hello. 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 Oh, go ahead. Uh, hello. Hi. 
Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Rodrigo. Okay. Let's see. We we said the process that, that I I come to the front desk. I receive my shift. Okay. Uh, the shift is say that uh, the key, the magnetic key, um, the computer, all all the things that are in the in the front desk. Mm -hmm. Later, my colleague. It uh, tells me about the building, everything about the building. For example, uh, for, for example, the roof is damaged. Uh, for example, uh, third, he tell me about all the errands that needs to be done. Uh, for I see the, my computer and the peanuts clip. Peanuts clip. And five, uh, um, I see everything of the day according to the shift. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. And vaya, como me lo, res, me lo describió como un process. Todo lo cambia a receives the key on time. Ya, yeah. todo va, lo cambia hacia tercera persona, como que si usted estuviera evaluando a otro compañero, que si él hace eso, que usted sabe que es parte del proceso y que se tiene que hacer. Right? Uh -huh. Entonces, ya ahí ya quedaría como una checklist para evaluar el proceso que usted me acaba de describir, que si se, que lo cumple. Entonces, eh, de esa manera podría evaluar si otra persona desarrolla el proceso exactamente en la misma manera. ¿Ok? Excelente. One more volunteer. Volunteer. Yes. Go ahead. Rosie and me? Yes. yes. Okay. We made two, but we are going to share the second one that we made. It. Okay. Protocol to apply injection. Number one, wash hands. Number two, prepare the injection. Number three, disinfect the disinfect area for injection. And number four, apply the injection. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, and then cry. Nah. Yeah, please. <laughs> but the one who will cry is the other one, the poor one who's getting the injection. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, imagine. Mas he got crudo. <laughs> that really, really hurts. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. No more volunteers. Mm. No more. Ya, te, ya están pensando en la cama, va. Hoy es 15. Carla Lorena se queda conmigo. Ok. Bueno. Let's see, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Vaya, volunteer. No mentira, estoy pasando a temas. Y así ves que qué. ¿Quién era la tienda, teacher? Ana Alicia. <laughs> Present teacher. Eh, Carlos Josué. No here, Carlos Josué. David. Present teacher. Eh, Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Loren. Elda Loren. Buena ley. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer, Elmer Fabricio, Gemma, present teacher, Jessica, José Alfredo, present teacher, José Alberto, Karen, 
Listen, teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mr. Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace. Rosaida. And Mauricio. Vaya. Eh, no more questions, porque mañana nos vamos a una nueva unidad y a la unidad número tres. No, teacher. Okay. <coughs> okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Bueno, remember, para lo que todavía me deben, eh, remember that I collect the grains for a unit number two and the exam today. Okay. Two and exam, a midterm exam. You need to uh, need to make some. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes ya lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Pero por si usted se ha ido atrasando, asegúrese de terminarlo. Mm -hmm. Estaría revisando solo la unidad 2 con todo el examen o solo la unidad 2? Las dos cosas. Unidad 2 y el examen de medio curso. Ok, ese es para ahora, dijo. Sí. Hoy. Para hoy. ¿Qué es para hoy, teacher? Eh, la unidad 2 y el examen de medio curso. Es lo que les estoy haciendo, uh, ¿verdad? Toda la semana. Vamos ah, a... pero yo, yo creo que ya lo hice, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver ahorita no no me aparece no 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 le he hallado ah uy no, no, que esté en la segunda página quizás no ya ah, sí sí ya está uh, siempre se estaría ahí hasta la unidad cuatro ah ok me llega me llega no ya <risa> Rosy. Gracias, Tisha. Ok. Sí, Rosy ya terminó. Ya terminó la unidad 2. ¿Y en David? En David, vamos a ver, don David. Le había visto la 1 completa. Sí. Sí, también. Y yo, Tisha. Tengo pendiente de, del examen, Adriana, ¿verdad? Ana ya está con el examen completo. Ana, el teacher. Carlos Josué, Ana, Ana Grisel, me les falta el examen. Diego Batres también. Elmer Fabricio. Germán Alejandro, a no saber quién es Germán Alejandro. Este, Grace Michelle, me le falta el examen. Jessica Lice también. José Alfredo. Y vamos a verte en la otra página. Luis Mauricio, bueno, pero ya no. Eh, Rodrigo, solo me ha hecho un pedacito del examen, Rodrigo. ¿En serio? 25% tiene. Así es que tiene trabajo. Es que Rodri, usted ha ido brincando, brincando y no ha ido en orden. Porque me dejó un ejercicio pendiente en la unidad 1, se lo señalé la vez pasada, pero ahí sigue pendiente. De la unidad 2 solo tiene el 70%, de la 3 sí tiene el 100%. Ya hizo el 73% de la 4. 
pero se saltó en el examen, solo hizo el 25% y se fue a hacer el examen final. Ajá. Váyase en orden. Muy bien. Váyase en orden porque yo recojo notas en orden. Ok. Ya ahí cheque que el examen de medio curso solo tiene hecho el 25%. Entonces, chequen, chequen, chequen. Poquitos les falta, ¿verdad? Poquitos. Pero si, si le falta, eh, ahí lo hace. Grace Michelle, sí, me debe todavía un buen pedazo de la tarea de la unidad 2, igual que Jessica Lisset y el examen. Oye, así es que, bueno, a ponerse las pilas. Bueno, pues, see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I, I, I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Eh, pero que se vayan los compañeritos para no entretenerlos. A ver, pues. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 No, ya casi me hemos dicho que le preguntar algo a la teacher. Teacher, I don't understand eh, the, the last homework. Mm -hmm. Can I share the screen eh, quickly? Sure. To me, it's supposed that I have to read this. I have to read, read the following training manual. You may choose from the following adverbs or transition after that, after words, first, finally, then there. Uh -huh. So I write it, but I don't know. I don't know. Porque cuando yo escribí aquí me salía, is there, are there. No sé, yo, o sea, yo no sabía qué, qué, qué. ¿Y qué resultado le dábamos? Ah, entonces sí estaba bien que solo pusiera no. esta palabra. Sí, solo la palabra. Ah, vaya. Ah, pues eso era todo, teacher. Gracias. Mm, bueno. Pues ya terminé. Sí, mi amor. Hi, Carla. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo está? Um... I feel ex very exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. Yeah. I, I, I think it's a consequence of the COVID. Mm -hmm. Yes, probably. Are you taking vitamins? Yeah, but I have um, five days that I have. I, I, I am. I am. I am. Mm, drinking yes, tomando vitamina. That you're taking vitamins. Taking, uh, because when I I I am I was sick. Uh, I am not. You were not taking vitamins. Uh -huh, no. Mm, yeah, because too many pills to take, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. And and. I have a lot of pain on my back and I I I feel um, I, I the joints in my hands mm -hmm. hurts. Ouch. For ex now I couldn't hold a plate. You couldn't find a place for what? I couldn't hold, sostener. Oh. Un plato. Uh-huh. So mm -hmm. it's like when you go chikungunya, right? That they would chikungunya, remember? The joints were very, very, it was very difficult to get things with your hands. Maybe, I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, no tener chingungui. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Yes. The people who go chikungunya, they said that it was difficult for them to 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 carry things because all the 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 fingers were like kind of hard. Yes. My mom was in this way and she was one year with this with that problem. Uh-huh, with this problem. Wow. And what did she do? She got therapy or something? No. No. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Uh -huh, because the therapy could help, right? Yeah, I am thinking go at the uh, physiotherapy. Physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. physiotherapy. Yeah, because that, that can help you uh, get your movements again, the natural movement. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Carlita, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. When I I when I not understand, I read. Hey, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. With the platform, no problem, right? No, no problem. But on time. <laughs> I have problem only with one question, but today they be they be help me. Help me. Ah, he helped you. Uh huh. Only one. That's great. Solo una que tenía un espacio después. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Sí. Uh -huh. I don't know why it, that was with a space and then that was giving, that was giving problem that because of that. Oh, but good. Uh huh. We were talking about that one of these days. Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh, it, it it has an space in the middle of the question and the and the question mark, right? Only with this question, I had problem. But uh, today, I I. I make I make Excellent. I make all <laughs> Excellent, excellent. That's great. Yeah, I'm checking. Some people are still missing. But you're complete. That's good. Okay, Carlita la dijo que vaya a dormir entonces. Entonces es este Este curso dura cinco semanas. No sé si yo estoy. Sí, no sí, que dura sí. cinco semanas. Ah, y así duran todos los de intermedio. Solamente? Todos los intermedios duran cinco semanas. Y ya no hay descanso, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Yo creo que sí, pero al terminar las cinco semanas. Es que a mí ya me mandaron que el 18 vamos a empezar y se, pues, se supone que el 18 terminaríamos este. Ay, no le creo. Sí, es que como yo veo todo el papeleo, ya me mandaron los, los formularios y todo para empezar tentativamente el 18. Ah. <ríe> sí. Ah, pero si dice tentativamente. Ajá, sí. Ajá, ese, ese sería una semana después. Sí, me quedé pensando porque supuestamente ese día terminamos este curso. Exacto, no se podría, no podría ser. Uh -huh. No podría ser. Tendría que ser por lo menos una semana después. Sí. O el viernes de esa semana. No, el lunes, ¿verdad? Porque el lunes empezamos. Ajá, porque terminamos lunes. Sí, sí. Es que quizás allí no habían tomado en cuenta el 17 de junio. Yo creo que quizás. Siempre están poniendo las cuatro semanas que traemos siempre. No, no. Seguramente no habían tomado eh, que el 17 de junio fue a suerte. Fue a suerte. Uh -huh. Sí, seguramente que sí. Sí, seguramente eso pasó. 
Entonces no lo han tomado y al no tomarlo en cuenta, por eso que es, dice que, o oh, como dice usted, solo han tomado cuatro semanas, porque. Ajá, yo creo que sí. Pero, y no es ese el de alguno de sus demás compañeros que les aparece a fecha. No, porque me mandaron en el que so, en el que estábamos Edwin y yo, porque mis compañeros se pasaron a otro curso de el de una hora de Ani. Mm. Al ah, más chiquito. Uh -huh. No, y ahí están los nombres de nosotros. Ah. Pero a lo mejor se han confundido. Ajá. Pero me quedó la inquietud. Voy a preguntar mañana en ese mismo correo que me mandaron. Sí, pregunte porque es bien raro, ¿verdad? Tendría que ser eh, por lo menos una semana después. Ajá, sí. Ajá. Porque no puede empezar el día que termina. Ajá. Sí, a lo mejor se me equivocaba. Sí, seguramente se les ha pasado allí. Entonces, sí, mejor escríbale para que así ¿Sí? vean la fecha y le van a decir que no, que es la siguiente semana. Porque, ajá. Sí, yo me imagino que siempre dejan por lo menos una semana entre eh, curso y curso. Sí. Por lo de los papeleos y cualquier cosa. Uh -huh. Aunque ahora han pedido bien antes los papeleos, porque me los mandaron desde esta semana pasada. Oh. Bueno, para no retrasarse, quizás, ¿verdad? Porque si no, entre más tardado mandan los papeles, más allá empiezan. Y eso implica más tardado para empezar el siguiente. Sí, eso sí. Así es que mejor, mejor rapidito. Así sí. avanzan más. Mejor con tiempo. Pues sí. Así avanza más tiempo. Vaya, pues Carlita, la dejo entonces para que descanse y nos vemos mañana. Bueno, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bye, bye. Bye. Take care.